In Parashat Shruma, uh, Moses is given the, the, the most spiritual lesson of how to create God's home on earth. Right? How to bring the most spiritual thing, God, to the most earthly thing, to this world. And in this utmost spiritual lesson, what is odd is, so how does, Moses, how does God explain it to Moses? He explains to him, this is the Aaron, this is how you're going to build it. This is the Mizbech, this is how you're going to build it. This is the Shulchan, this is how you're going to build it. Like the mitzvot, do this, do this, do this. Except one odd, very odd difference on the part of God. After every part, when God tells Moses, build the Aaron, build the Mizbech, he then says, and Moses, do it exactly as I tell you on the mountain. After the Aaron, and Moses, do it exactly as I told you on the mountain. After the Shulchan, and Moses, it's almost as if Moses isn't focused. It's almost as if Moses isn't paying attention in the holiest of holies. This doesn't make sense. I think a way to explain this odd repetition on God's part is to go back to this key element that symbolizes, I think, the, the uniqueness of Prashat Truma, and that is the confluence or connection or conflict between the earthly and the spiritual. Prashat Truma explains the most spiritual challenge man has, and that is how to create a home for the most spiritual thing for God. And yet, it is written like an Ikea guide. Uh, f- forgive my language. It is written in the most, earth- most, most earthly terms. M- precise measurements. What materials? If there's too much garment, you're going to put do like this with it. Everything, the most spiritual matter is given in the most earthly matter. And the peak of this, where is God going to meet Hashem? Where is Hashem going to meet Moses? Where is the meeting point? Where is the most spiritual point in the most earthly? Above two cherubs, two statues. It doesn't make sense. All Parshat Truma is yelling out to us this confluence yet contradiction, tension between the earthly and the spiritual. And the guy who's stuck in the middle of this is Moses. He has the impossible job of being Isha Elohim, the closest spiritual thing to God, and yet Ro'ene Eman, a shepherd of an earthly people of slaves. I think the reason God repeats himself is as Moses. Do exactly as I say on the mountain. Moses, do exactly as I tell you on the mountain. Only in Truma is because I don't think Moses is paying attention. I think in this week's Torah portion, Moses is a Ro'ene man. In the holiest peak, Moses is with his people. Because he's given an impossible position. How can you be up there and be the holiest and yet be down there and be a leader? Cheta Egil is bound to happen. It already says it in Truma, and I think that is what Truma is all about. What we take from here, I think for me, is the challenge between connecting, between the contradiction yet the confluence of the spiritual and the earthly. Shabbat Shalom.